Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. Agenda of this video tutorial. So very first, we will see the installation of code blocks in Windows 10 with MinGW compiler for C C++ programming. After the installation, I will create a C++ program. Then we will see compilation and run of this program inside the code blocks. In front of you, I have noted down all these steps of the installation. We will follow these steps one by one. Let's get started with the step one. First, we need to download the code blocks from this link. So just copy this link from the description. Open any browser on your system. Put in the address bar, press enter. And guys, you will land it on this page. At this page, you can see there are some package distribution is there so if you are uh, going to install for Windows XP Vista 7 8 or Windows 10 so you have to choose the first category so this is the category and there are lots of exe files so which exe files we are going to select we are going to download this one code blocks 20.03 mingw hyphen setup dot exe because this has inbuilt mingw compiler that will be installed with the code blocks as you can see note is given code blocks 20.03 mingw setup.exe file includes additionally gcc and c++ compiler and a gdb debugger from mingw and w64 project so this is the suitable one we don't need to install mingw additionally here we go click on this link you will be navigated to the new page so here this is the source forge which is hosting downloading of this file within five seconds your downloading will start file size is 145 mb only this will not take uh, more than 10 minutes for complete downloading once the downloading is done so just do a double click on this downloaded exe to launch the installer very first screen you will see click next on this license agreement click I agree and no change click next and this is the destination location installation location click install and the final installation process will start uh, this installer is, uh, will take time because uh, first this will install the code blocks after that this will install the MinGW compiler and the package is big that's why taking time so let this complete after that you will see the completion message click ok and just launch this code blocks so the splash screen you will see code blocks 20.03 and very soon you will see the IDE of the code blocks now you can see code blocks is successfully installed So these are the steps file. So we have completed the step one. So these are the notes for the step one that we have completed. And now we are moving on the step two. Now the step two is saying we have to verify the compiler's path. That means the compiler setting is on place or not. We have to check that GNU GCC compiler is path is set properly to the right folder or not. So the correct path is the installation code blocks installation location slash min gw folder so i will show you don't worry about that how to verify now we will see it go to the settings menu item then click on this compiler option and this uh, global compiler settings window will appear in front of you there are several tabs so go to the tool chain executable tabs click on it and at this place you will see the compilers installation directory the text field maybe in your case uh, this is not properly set but what you have to write at this place you have to give the path of min gw folder which is inside the code blocks installation folder so right now I have already given this path which is correct but in case if you are not getting this path so you have to look for that 
so first you have to go to the program files then you will find the code blocks installation folder go inside this folder and then you will see minjw folder so guys just copy this path and come back here this global settings window and paste that path right here now we are good to go click ok to save the settings now this is ready to write a c++ program in the step 3 we will create a c++ program and then we will see build and run now go to the file menu then go to the new then here select the project this uh, template window will appear there are several templates for different projects available we have to click console application and then you will see this uh, window select C if you want to create C project I'm going for a C++ at this place this is asking for a project title so please provide any title that you want now the second place uh, this is the project location so suppose you want to create your all your projects in a particular folder so just create a new folder and just select that folder here we go after that this is the project file name suppose if you are creating the vv project then you have a dot vv file in the similar way we have this dot cpp file finally uh, everything is okay just click finish and the project will be set up on left hand side you can see here inside the projects tab we have sources folder just expanded you will find the main.cpp file just open it this is a basic program that is printing hello world on the console if you want to increase the font size so press control and uh, use the scroll button of your mouse then you can uh, resize the font and go to this place click here to run this file you will see the message of the build click yes and your program will be executed and you will see results on this window hello world now I will do a small change so that we need to build this file again then we will run it to do that that process is very simple you have to go to the build there's an option for build and if you want to do both activity simultaneously so you can proceed with build and run and you will find the result right here in this black and white window so guys this is the way you can install the code blocks on your windows 10 and you can create your C and C++ program inside code blocks I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.